Hello and welcome to the Filter Copy Interviews. The Indian animation industry has really come of age and what better proof of that than the fact that now Chota Beam is now on Netflix and with me is Rajiv Chilaka, the creator of Chota Beam, the founder CEO of Green Gold Animation, in many senses the father of Indian animation. Chota Beam is called Mighty Little Beam. Yeah, the new version of uh, Chota Beam uh, is a preschool version where uh, it's been launched and uh, it's on Netflix, so it's India's first Netflix original for kids and it is called as Mighty Little Beam. So no longer Beam is a 9 year old, in, in fact Beam is a toddler. So he's between 12 to 15 months. It's a non-dialogue show and it's currently airing on Netflix platform in 190 countries. So uh, Chota Beam has grown even more Chota in that sense. Uh, what has been the response when you, or rather let me ask you, what was the kind of uh, preparation you made when you decided to kind of make it more young and taking it to an international platform. Yeah, I think when uh, when we went, we met Netflix and we kind of pitched them the idea that we want to do something with you guys. They wanted to do something around Beam because they re their research showed that Beam is the most popular character in India. And with them looking at in, uh, launching in India, they thought Beam's character would be great. At that point, we did pretty much the content, our entire content was sold to Amazon. So I, I said, I cannot give you because the entire catalog is with them. So they said, hey, why don't you create something new for us, which is uh, for preschool audience. And you come back to us based on your characters. And then I discussed with my team and we got an idea that, hey, why don't we do Beam as a baby? Because I think it will be really cool to see a, a very powerful baby and uh, then imagine things around it. So that's how the initial idea came. And then I went and spoke to them. I said, do you like the idea of being a baby? Then they loved it. They said, hi, why don't we write a script, do an uh, episode and pilot and see it. So we did that and they liked it, they loved it and they greenlit the show. But then I realized that one, doing a Netflix original, being the first ones in India to do, that means a lot of responsibility on us, not just as a company, Green Gold, but also the, for Indian animation. So if we do a show well, then it's going to go, uh, I mean, Everybody gets benchmark exactly. So that was uh, the whole aim. So we, it made us nervous, but what the positive things wise, we had an opportunity to recreate the Dolakpur that we created in 2007-8, and at that time we had uh, we had to um, we had limited budgets. But now it's a worldwide budget, it's a high budget show, Mighty Little Beam, and then we said okay. So we have an opportunity to recreate Dolakpur, recreate the characters. Then we realized if Beam is a toddler. Then everybody in the, his friend are gone. So the challenge is okay now. Only Kalia is in the series older than Bhim by a year. Otherwise, everybody else is younger than him. That means they're not born when Bhim is a 12 year old or they are a baby. Pretty much, Chutki is the closest age to them. So the challenge was how do you now recreate the magic of Chota Bhim? One for a global platform, and two, how do you make this uh, without his friends who are the strength of the show? So we had to do a lot of bad things, so we invited some international writers because now no longer we're telling stories for local telling, a local, we're going global, so we had to think globally. So we realized that how do you tell an Indian story, but we want to tra uh, stay uh, true to our uh, uh, roots, we want to show Beam's mother Indian, Not we don't, we don't want to remove her Bo uh, hair, I mean, uh, bindi and give a bob cut and make a way, we wanted to be like how... Um, a woman in the village will dress up or a wo woman 100 years ago would dress up. Keep it simple, Indian, all the Indian elements, the farm, the cows, to everything. But at the same time appeal to an international audience. Exactly, the storytelling wise. So we were, work we were figuring out then I thought, Beam is anyway baby, there are a lot of animals on the show. Let's cut the dialogues, let it keep a uh, non-dialogue show. So in our show there is no dialogues and it worked very well because it, it's truly universal. Uh, Two doubts here. Uh, now, doesn't it kind of lead to a conflict of interest because Amazon is also having Chota Beam while you are having a different version of Beam. So, didn't Amazon have an issue with you doing the show on Netflix? No, we took uh, Amazon's permission and uh, we took, uh, even Pogo has our content on television. So, we took their permission before they, uh, we did that and they were completely okay because we're targeting preschool audience in uh, thing. At that point, there's no preschool audience in India and... Uh, Globally, are there any kind of preschool 
animation shows for that age group of course globally uh, i think there are plenty of preschool show i mean internationally preschool market is huge and how does uh, mighty little beam kind of compare yeah so uh, i'll tell you the good news so we didn't expect this when netflix made mighty little beam they were looking at in targeting indian audience but what has happened is that this has become the number one preschool show ever on netflix platform so it's world number one preschool show on netflix number 2 This was the second most second most successful show and kids and family. Kids and family means all you take it all age groups who are kids and family audience. That is something you're watching sitting with together with the family. All that is the number two show ever and first one is uh, DreamWorks show. So we felt very proud that we never imagined this kind of uh, love of affection coming from worldwide. And uh, so now it's a huge hit and it's not a huge hit in India yet, but it's a huge so which is even more special for us. huge it in americas that is north america usa canada south america brazil chile argentina and one more country i'm forgetting so uh, not peru i think some other country i'm not remembering so it did fantastically well in uh, south america and rest of the world also so it, it this is something which we only dream of and is happening but being a kids show it will take some time to come out of the people to know this is a global hit that beam has become even more chota now but tell me what does it mean for the rest of your competitors rest of your peers in the indian animation industry what are the lessons that they need to learn from the success of mighty little i think um, one th- what is ha- success of uh, mighty little beam is that then it, it opens a gate for entire industry a people will think hey india is not outsourcing center it can create stuff and mighty little beam has shown the way and that you know it's you know, again when your a new market is creating content is always thinking differently while uh, same people are doing the same thing the stories will be very similar little changes there will be a instead of a cat there will be a dog instead of a dog there will be a cow it's always going but when we are come to this side of the and we can create completely new different thing that will work very well and i think and today the world is becoming smaller and smaller people are really open minded especially kids they don't have any racial barriers and stuff so i think on netflix the reason that the show is successful is because people from all kinds of races are watching the show i'm very fascinated by the fact that the preschool the generation of those uh, toddlers very very young children who are watching it will actually uh, associate india with the land of little beam i mean that's quite a fascinating thought to have tell me something uh, do you still remember the day when you actually thought of chota beam as a concept absolutely every single day i think about that it is about that yeah i think it was uh, we were kind of desperate to survive we were figuring out what we uh, i was uh, we were creating uh, we were making vikram betal at that time as a company and vikram betal is uh, we realized is not exactly kids content we wanted to redo our team didn't want characters which keep growing or anything like that they wanted characters to say similar stay same age and all then i started i was sitting with my partner and figuring out what to do and what can be the idea and i was going through thought process suddenly i came up with an idea that i i look deeper into my childhood i thought my childhood favorite character was bhim because you know every kid wants to eat and be strong and that was my thing and that remained he said he said what about we make something on bhim then i thought okay if you talk bal beam or something like that but if you do something like that then you have to have arjun this turn a cool sahadev the entire mahabharata comes into it becomes very complicated not for kids then i said hey what about what if we take beam out of uh, mahabharata yeah just take his characteristics his attributes keep him in a different world uh, in a small village make him a normal kid don't make him a king or something don't make him anyone important a common boy give him friends and give him some problems that he can solve and what how that would be so the whole idea came to him in 15 minutes and i'm i cannot believe i'm still working or on those ideas and this you are talking of the year 2003 2003 so it's a good 18th <laughs> great so it's a good 16 years hence but is there also the risk that green gold animation has come to be associated only with this extremely one popular character yeah i think see uh, i am kind of happy and sad on that Uh, happy because it's an iconic character it is going to be the history of animation in india is written that's going to be there forever 
uh, that's a good part. The sad part is people do not know what are the other shows we are creating and stuff like that. But that's fair it's because kind of dwarfs everything else. Exactly, it's like a Mickey Mouse for Disney. You know, when you talk about Disney, it's the first thing that comes to is that. Same thing if you go with Pixar. Pixar has the Toy Story first, and then only everything else comes. That's the first benchmark for all of us, and same thing for us. Our success story is built around Beam, and we're very proud of it. And I mean, it's Beam is a franchise. Beam is a brand. So people spend lifetime on brands, and we have it's the only brand in the top 200 brands in the world. Into only Indian brand to be there in that. It's been. Uh, the most licensed character ever out of India, from India, in India, e anything you talk about Beam, it's a success story with everything new, feature films, most number of films made on Beam, television movies, episodes, to Netflix original, to a lot of things. Beam has been there. It's b and now it's in 3D, it's in different avatars, it's in CGI, drawing, 2D animation, uh, toys, comics. Be I mean, name something. It's all basically in a nutshell. You, your company. Is a is is a part of everyone's childhood essentially in a nutshell. Uh, I I I'm hope I hope it is so. No, no, I mean you can't ask for a better gift that you can give to the children of the country. We cannot. And then see, it's very something like Chota Bim happens once in a lifetime. It's like asking us if we, we are able to create such a popular character again. I'll be the most happiest person on there. But till that time, we we get to that. It is like I, I mean I, I will be sad and happy at the same time. So till that time, you can play around with. Chota Beam's age, you know, you can make him bigger, you can make him smaller. Yeah, you know, when uh, see, you always it's very important to understand that how people think and connect to characters. Just for example, if I do tell the same story of Chota Beam and call the character instead of Beam, call him Ashoka or something else. Really, I mean, like it, it wouldn't even ring a bell to you. You know, you can't see how can it. The cuteness quotient goes up. Yeah, I mean, exactly. So it's important that. We always name the characters like Mighty Little Beam is a completely new original idea, but there is one thin line. It is Beam as a baby. That's the only thing. But now, how do you tell for the global? So that's a proof that we are great creators. We can tell great stories. We have Mighty Raju. We are creating uh, Nickelodeon's number one show, which is made out of st our studio now, which is called Rudra. But the IP is owned by them. So uh, we are working with Sony A Channel. We are doing Kiko and Speedo and a few of other shows for them. They're they're rating very well for them. So we have created new shows, but technically we are not the creators. They are the channels are the creators. Business models have changed in the last ten years because people now want to own the content. How big is the Indian animation industry right now? Uh, it's it's becoming larger by the day. There is a, probably perhaps the largest consumption or creation is happening out of India right now for domestic channels. I think. Uh, I think last year there were more than about 500 hours of animation created. What is probably worldwide there was 500 hours of content created worldwide. So that's a huge number. Primarily the reason also why it's happening now in India is also because earlier prior to prior to Chota Bim, there's not been you know there probably been three or four or ten episodes at best created. So post Beam, they came more to Patlu and other shows that got become successful. Uh, including some of our shows and Nickelodeon shows and Disney shows and stuff, they have gone on bigger and bigger. Now people realize that domestic audience need to connect; uh, they need to consume domestic content. And other things can be a plus, but they have to have their their business model built around how Pogo has Beam as the central character. Everybody is doing that model. So now more and more content is created, and boom, there comes this OTT. Uh, platforms from Prime to Netflix to Hotstar to Z5 to uh, View to so that's going to be the next viewing destination. Yeah, I mean like Telugu also Telugu also they are opening an OTT channel. Uh, so everybody will need kids content. It may they may do it first or la later, but this is going to be a big boom to the industry. Similarly, VFX industry will also benefit out of this boom. All the best to you. Fascinating listening to you. And all the best to you with Chota Beam and many more characters. Thank, Thank you. you very much.